become the best version of it's never easy, but it's not impossible. We talk about everything and the fuse. Anything. The fuse. Welcome. You are listening to the Fuse podcast. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is John Jimenez, and you are at The Fuse, where we talk about everything and anything. You know, if this is your first time here, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. You know, I just want to let you know how excited I am to do this podcast. This is like, whew, it feels like a dream come true. It feels like a breaking barrier. I'm just like overwhelmed with it. And I'm excited in the inside because, I don't know, it's just something about podcasting that is a lot easier than film, than like social media stuff, than like coming out live because it all has to do with your voice and you pretty much you know you don't have to respond to anybody it's just your voice and of course you get the comments and all this stuff i don't even know what i'm saying right now but this is how excited i am to talk to you right now so like a couple of things that i just want to let you know about myself uh, of course i already said that my name is john jimenez i actually have a middle name in case you wanted to know and it's uh, john henry jimenez by the way and for no reason you should know that because later on in the future you're gonna want an autograph and then it, you're going to know he's a, like if it's real because he's going to have a middle name in there. Maybe not because I don't write my middle name. Anyways, I'm just blabbing around. So let's get to the point that we're here for today. And that is for you to become the best version of yourself. Now, how are we going to do this, you say? Well, pretty much pretty easy. Uh, we're just going to do a lot of things like experiences, a lot of things that I've gone through in my life that have helped me and that I know in some way can help you. Okay guys, so now let's get down to the nitty gritty of what we're talking about today. And today we're talking about specifically about starting. Now, everything has a beginning, right? And one of the things that I have learned in my life is this. Do not despise your small beginnings whatsoever. Do not despise your small beginnings because it's the most important part of your whole career. Career, I'm sorry. It's your. It's the most important part. Why is it the most important part, you say? Blah, blah, blah. Why is it the most important part, you say? Well, because of this. The way you start will, by facts, direct you into the way that you want to go or delay you from going to that place that you really want to attend, right? Now, say for example, you take you take a part of what you want to do, right? Let's do the good part first, right? You go, you go exactly where you want to go. You know what direction, you studied it, and you pushed yourself to the point of knowing everything beforehand or not knowing, but you know exactly where you want to go and you're directing yourself to pushing there and reaching your goal versus you start slowly a lot of people will say or I've heard many say it doesn't matter how you start just start and I agree with that but I also agree that if you delay in a way of not knowing where you want to go it's gonna take you a while to get there because you're gonna have to go through trial, you're gonna have to go through uh, uh, test, and, and and it's not bad because you're gonna learn a lot of things. But if you don't know exactly what you're aiming for, then you're always gonna hit your target, right? There's something that, that this mentor of mine says, Dr. Miles, who says, if you are aiming for nothing, you will always hit your target. But if you aim for something, then you have a purpose. So, I'm just paraphrasing what he said, not exactly saying what he said. So, don't quote me on this, okay? So, now that we talked about the ways and the directions to go, I know it can get kind of confusing, but the point of this is to start, right? The starting. So, I kind of want to direct you into the way that I myself started. So, when I started this whole thing with, like, YouTube or I started, like, uh, Facebook and started promoting, started getting into the aspect of kind of, like, business and kind of got, trying to be social on, on uh, you know, on the social network, it was kind of difficult for me because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know, first of all, who I was. I didn't know the purpose that I was wanting to, to do. And that's because I've been through a lot of stuff, you know, in, in words that you should know, of course, who you are, right? Uh, in terms of Christianity, right? Because that's the kind of thing that I believe in. And 
So going to from being raised in it, uh, being raised in a Christian home, then going to a school after a uh, high school institution where specifically you're supposed to set a foundation and then getting out of there and still not knowing myself and then going through college and then still barely getting to know myself and to the point that I started really developing, researching. And then when I came to find out this main met- uh, mentor of mine, which is Dr. Miles, is when I started getting to know and really searching deep within myself that I knew that it didn't matter what I was going to do, what the purpose was. I had to first figure out before I started what I was going to do, who I was. And in the meantime, doing what I know. Does that make sense? You have to know who you are. That's like the basics of all basics, knowing who you are. If you skip on the basic, you you go through a, a, something that is called, that I call, you missed it right and why I call it that I really don't call it I just made it up right now but I call it I call it that right now and I name it that because when you miss that little thing and this is where I learned by my musician teacher that I learned one week by the way how to play guitar and I learned it one week from Mr. Solis uh, which was a guitar mentor for me and a little bit of live mentor as well shout out to Mr. Solis wherever he's at if he's listening to this podcast he knows who he is Anyways, one of the things that he said that really stuck with me is this. You have to learn the basics. You have to learn the the little things first before you move on to shredding the guitar, to playing blues, to playing rock, to playing all this music that you want to play and knowing all this theory. You have to learn the basics. And this is what he said that really stuck to me. He said this. He said, look, if you don't remember or learn or memorize the basics when you get to a spot where you're like doing you know playing all these licks and everything and you have to do this certain thing but you don't remember your basics you don't remember the beginnings of how you started and what got you there you're gonna have to go all the way back and study that one thing and then come all the way back and apply it to where you're at now, in, in a whole extent, that sounds reasonable to do, right? You go back and you study and then you come back. But the thing is, it's time. The time that it took for that person to do that instead of learning that at the beginning. And then when he got to that place that he was then, he wouldn't have even wasted time and he would have been there faster. So when you start... It is one of the most difficult things in the world, but it gets easier by knowing who you are and by discovering that because you get to know your likes, your dislikes, your passions. You get to know everything that you is you. Does that make sense? And and this is not, you know, forgive me because this is not all, you know, outlined and and everything is everywhere so just bear with me i promise you that this podcast will be more organized but this is just something that i want to say out of my heart and i I just wanted to share that experience with with you um because I don't know, maybe somebody else needs this motivation. Maybe someone else needs to hear this part that I didn't hear when I was young. And I wish somebody would have told you, hey, you know what? All you need to figure out is yourself. And if they did tell me that I wasn't listening. So I warn you now, listen, please. You know, there's one thing that I always keep with me. It's a principle in the Bible. If you don't believe it, just listen to it. Okay, just pretend it's me saying it. And it's this. It's this powerful. It's this. It says, Proverbs 12 15 from the new international version and i'm not trying to preach to you here but i'm just trying to give you a message okay and it says the way of fools seems right to them but the wise listens to advice and now in a new living translation it says fools think their own way is right but the wise listens to others now there's many many wise you know sayings and proverbs in this book of Proverbs in the Bible, right? Which you can find it in there. You'll find it alive. I I can tell you this thing. This is where I really get all my principles from. This is where I get all my morals from. And this is how I've lived my life. Now, through the... To the consequences of not following these principles and not the following these morals that I have lived my whole life, there has been serious consequences, right? But that is the purpose of this Proverbs, to keep you in the right path, to keep you in doing good, to keep you in helping others. So... Back to this on your start. 
I wish I would have somebody would have told me this that when you start, you want to start off in a right way. You want to start off by knowing who you are because that opens, I'm telling you, that opens a wide door and narrow, if that makes sense, a wide door to your mind to to really see everything that you have in order. So imagine this. Imagine that if you open a fridge and you just have everything in there with food, milk, everything, vegetables in the freezer and and eggs in you know, in the freezer, I guess, and the meat at the bottom where the refrigerator is at. Guess what? There's a lot of things that will get ruined and there's a lot of things that will not work anymore the way they should work, right? Now, a frozen egg maybe doesn't taste bad for some people, but it's not right, right? I mean, you can make it as any way that you want, but I'm telling you right now, if you, for now, know who you are, you'll be able to fix those things that are in the wrong place in your life, put the was things that need to be in the freezer and pre- put back those things that need to be in the refrigerator and organize it so now you know what the fruits are, now you know what the vegetables are, now you know the meat's supposed to be frozen so it wouldn't get so it won't get rotten. And you have a more organized, wider range of choosing what you want and where you want it. Okay? And that is the purpose of this knowing who you are. And the narrow path is now you get more direction of where you want to go. Now you know what to choose, what to look at, and what not to see. And that's the purpose of knowing who you are. Because you start discovering your purpose. And that is the beautiful thing of starting and not being so afraid of. Because let me tell you something. You cannot take away being scared. I mean, it doesn't matter what you say, what you do. We're humans, we have emotions, and that, I don't want to say fear, but just, I guess I'm going to say fear, that fear is going to be there, right? And it's up to you to know what to do with it. I don't know if you've seen that movie with uh, Will Smith, I don't know what it's called right now, but it's what he controls his fear, and he's the only one that can do it, right? So he's the only, like, cool dude that can kill all the bad guys. Well, this is something like you. You control your fear in starting. If you let, if you let, sorry, if you let your fear overcome you, you have a hard time starting. I'm not saying you won't start. I'm not saying you will not succeed. This is nothing that has to do with succeeding or not succeeding. This just has to do with you starting, right? You can just decide and go at it like a lot of people go in life. I'm not saying a lot of people have done it and they've made it and a lot of people haven't. And, you know, they've gone either way, but along the way, something happened and they didn't make it, right? But my point is here, I want to help you out so that you don't make the mistake that I made, Right? So first, figure out who you are. And I'm not saying, well, John, are you saying that I can't start until I figure out who I am? No, I'm saying start and figure out who you are, right? Because you don't want to just stay there and not do anything and figure out yourself and take years and years to figure out yourself. But you start. You start with the simple things. What do you like? What do you don't like? You know, what do you like to eat? What you don't like to eat? Little things like that that will build up to the bigger things, right? So you start discovering yourself. And also, you know, uh, uh, tips to discovering yourself is ask other people what they see and see what you see in yourself and what they see and see how that handles, you know, how that goes. See what, you know, you why they see that in you and tell them, well, this is what I saw. So there's a lot of things between that asking somebody and then asking for guidance and having leaders who can guide you and lead you to the right direction for your start to begin and that's like the same thing but it sounded good all right guys that is all for today i hope that you were inspired i hope that this motivated you and i hope that you enjoyed this first podcast that i have for today this is the fuse thank you for being here where we talk about everything and anything and we'll see you later well we'll talk to you later That's the way to finish it. All right, guys. Peace out. Later. Have a good time. Enjoy it. Share this podcast. Whatever you want to do with this podcast, just don't do it for bad. Do it for good. And we will appreciate it so much. All right, guys. Peace out. We talk to you later. Become the best version. It's never easy, but it's not impossible. Talk about everything. The fuse. The fuse. Don't let fear take control of your life.